Alright, so now we're going to look at our second video on scatterplots, uh, and this one is focused on getting the line of best fit. So the line of best fit can give us loads of information uh, about the scatterplot and about the data. So sometimes the line of best fit is called a regression line. Uh, you need a computer really to do it properly, um, but sometimes you can be asked to do it by inspection. Okay, so in the exam, obviously, you don't have a computer with you, um, so that you have to do it by inspection. So if we were to plot a line of best fit through these green points here, um, through these ones here, there's a couple of rules we should follow. So first of all, it doesn't have to go through the origins. Some people always try to put through the origin, but that doesn't that isn't always the case. Um, there should be an even number of points on both sides of the line, and points should be evenly spaced on both sides of the line as well. So for example, I'm just going to do this, and hopefully it'll kind of work out. The line should look something like yeah, that looks okay, something like that. So say this point is the same distance from the line as this point, this point the same distance as this point, this point same distance-ish as that point, and the same with that. Um, and there's sort of an even number of points. So these four are on the line and this four, these four are on one side, these four are on the other side. And then in the middle, it sort of goes through some of them, leaves them on each side. So that's a pretty good, um, pretty good line of best fit. <laughs> So now we're going to look at an example where they ask you to use the line of best fit to answer some other questions. Okay, so that's just the general, generally how to draw it. Um, a little bit of practice and a few practice questions will kind of get you good at it. So here, and as an example, so draw the line of best fit on this graph. Estimate the cost of a house ten kilometers from the city center, and what does the slope of the line mean? So it's sort of a messy little graph here, but we have uh, on the y-axis we have the cost of a house in million. So 0 0.25 million, a half a million, 0 0.75 million, and then 1 million. And then here we have distance from city center, and that's going to be in kilometers. I didn't really add that in. Um, so 5, 10, 15, 20 kilometers. And these X's show kind of houses that are this far and cost this much. This house is, say, 5 kilometers and cost half a million, etc. And as they go, um, as they get further away, the houses become less and less expensive. So anyway, draw the line of best fit on the graph. Again, I'm going to do this with red and I'm going to give it something like that which I think is sort of good yep so again because it's an estimate um, it doesn't really matter they give you a, a kind of a nice enough range on the marking scheme that if you draw it say sort of like that or sort of like that and um, you might get the marks as well okay so that looks like a decent line of best fit estimate the cost of a house 10 kilometers from the city so I'll do this with a purple uh, purple lines. So this is an important thing to know. So you, if it says estimate the cost of a house 10 kilometers from a city, you go to 10 on the x-axis. Okay, you draw a line straight up to the to the line. So a vertical line. Ooh, make that straight. A vertical line straight up until you hit your line of best fit. So you see where you hit your line of best fit, and then you go across from that to the cost. Okay, and so that there will say it's about 400,000. So I'll just say for part one is maybe. 400,000 euro ish. So again, on the marking scheme, they'll give you a range that they'll, they'll say anything between maybe 300 to 500,000 is acceptable. So as long as you're in that range, um, you'll get the marks. So next one, then what does the slope of the line mean? Okay, so if we look at as uh, so looking at the graph, uh, there's sort of two things we can say. So that we'll say the relationship first, this isn't quite the answer. But like as you move further away, as you move out, we'll say house price drops. Okay, um, and what the slope does is it tells us how much the house price drops for every kilometer we move out. So we'll say that at ten kilometers, and um, the house price is about five hundred thousand. And if we look at five kilometers, what the house price is? So I'll go circle five kilometers. Gonna draw a line straight up and then straight across so we'll say that's about 600,000 maybe okay so you can see that as it moves from 5 kilometers to 10 kilometers the house price increases from sorry wait 600,000 600 to 400 um, or sorry decreases so that means for every five kilometers, so we'll say every five kilometers, house price drops 
by 200,000 euro. Okay, so again, this is all very rough estimate. There is no graph paper here, so it's kind of hard to tell. But that's if they ask you a question like that, that's an answer you have to give. You have to give for every kilometer, for every five kilometers, if that's what's on the uh, on the axis, you have to give how much the house price drops. So that that's what it, the question means when it says, what does the slope of the line mean? And then lastly, so I was talking about graph paper just there, I'll just mention that, so in this one here, it's a very rough, um, obviously a very rough graph, you won't get something like it in an exam, but they could give you um, a graph with graph paper. Say so these green lines represent the graph paper. Um, terrible, but it'll just give you the general idea. These green lines represent the graph paper, so you can tell kind of accurately what each point is. Uh, sometimes they can ask you to find the equation of the line of best fit. So in that case, you have to use coordinate geometry. And luckily, we have videos on coordinate geometry as well. Um, coordinate geometry, and you have to use formulas like m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and then y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1. Okay, so if they ask you for the coordinates of the line of best fit, you have to pick coordinates from the from the grid, and you have to sub them into these formulas here to find out the the equation of the line of best fit. Uh, so those are sort of the questions you're going to get on scatter plots and related to the line of best fit. That should be it for scatter plots for now. Um, in the next video, we're going to start looking at the mean, the mode, and the median, which are the measures of center. So how to how to find the average of a data set. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, like and share with your friends. And we'll see you next time.